Hello everyone, my name is Liu Meng. I'm a rheumatologist who is working at the Guangdong Second Provincial General Hospital. It's my honor to introduce my article to you. The topic is prevalence of metabolic syndrome and its associated factors in Chinese patients with ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is, is associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. The prevalence of metabolic syndrome MTS, a major contributor to cardiovascular disease, in AS seems to be increased. We aim to determine the prevalence of MTS in AS and to identify the potential factors associated with its presence in our cohort of mainland Chinese patients with AS. The prevalence of MTS was assessed cross sectionally in 117 AS patients and 117 age and gender matched controls from the Guangdong Second Provincial General Hospital. MTS was defined according to the Chinese diabetes society in 2013. Multivariate logistic regression model was constructed to identify independent predictors of MTS in patients with AS. The prevalence of MTS was higher in AS patients than in controls. As patients had higher blood pressures and fasting serum glucose levels, but generally lower serum lipids. The serum lipids between MTS in AS patients and the healthy controls were also different. As patients with and without MTS had no distinct differences in disease duration, medication usage, disease activity, or biomarkers or inflammation. Multivariable Logistic regression analysis showed that hyperosemia and high body mass index were independent factors for MTS in AS patients. So, this study found that Chinese AS patients living on the mainland have an increased risk of developing MTS. Hyperosemia and high body mass index are predictors of MTS in AS patients. Our study indicates that Beyond the traditional cardiovascular disease risk factors, special attention should be paid to effective control of hyperosemia for preventing MTS in AS patients. Actually, studies concern the association of hyperosemia and AS are limited. The exact role of hyperosemia in the MTS in AS patients should be further investigated. Thank you for your attention. 